Learning to Love Again. Um, sounds like a song. But the, the point is, you've got to just move on. I know some people that have had dire relationships. Um, I remember a guy, they were, he sort of had the shakes, and he was telling about how his wife used to beat him, and she'd used a knife and things on him. Um, and I thought he was joking originally, and he's like, no, no, it's very serious, blah, blah. But I'm like, okay, you know, because he, he wanted to get off his chest. You know, this thing was still bothering him. Not that she was physically bothering him, because she, she had a court order and everything against her, but it was still affecting his mind. But the thing is, he wouldn't go into another relationship because of that experience. But the point is, yes, it was the worst thing you'll probably experience in his life, but it should never be the only thing. It should never be the only relationship that he should have. And I think a lot of people get hung up based on previous experiences. Um, and the same when somebody dies. I, was, I remember being on a trip to Germany um, for the Mosul Valley where I go to get wine. Um, I'd gone on this coach trip because we booked it. I can't remember what. I can't remember how we ended up booking it. But anyway, ended up in the Mosul Valley last night. There was like a disco sort of thing. And these people basically said, well, we're all part of a widow's club. We've all lost our partner in the last year. And they feel guilty about going on that holiday. But they go as a group because they're all going through the same experiences. <laughs> now, the reason I bring that up is because those people have felt severe loss. There's no anger there. The, the anger is maybe relating to the fact that they feel alone or why did the other person go before them that sort of thing but it's not driven in a hatred um they have a severe set sense of loss but i think it's important that people do go back and start going you know what i need to move on it's not nice. I don't feel comfortable doing it, but I need to do it. And in that situation, I agree 100%. The guy that's assaulted by his uh, wife on a regular basis, same. Need to move on. Do not isolate yourself. Whatever you do, you will never be happy alone. I don't care what anybody says. You still need to have a contact with other people. And you've got to learn to love again. Um... And it's not an easy thing to do if you've been with the same partner for your entire life. It's not easy to do when you've been abused for a long period of time or gone through a bad divorce. But the reality is happiness is so much better when it's shared. It's so much easier to achieve as a couple. My happiest moments are with my wife. When I see something, when I'm out and on my own, working or whatever, I sit there thinking... I wish my wife was here. I don't, you know, it's it, my wife's my soulmate. That's it. And the same way people need to move on, if they have no connection with somebody else, you need to find someone. You really do. Um, you'll be so much happier for it. And it ain't easy. Yeah, let's be honest. It's not easy. You're not going to find you, the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with in 10 minutes. But what is important is you do find them. And you ain't going to do that if you're not wanting to because of feeling guilt against a partner that's no longer with you or you don't want to because you feel insecure after the experiences you've had before. Um, but it's important you do because you'll be a lot happier for it. And it's not all about sexual relations or anything. It, a lot of it is just companionship. Um, there's a lot of people I know that are just couples. When I say couples, they're like, there's no sexual things between them. They're just happy being together. Um, it, it may seem a little bit of an odd relationship, but the fact is they're happy like that, you know, because they don't have those hang ups relation, you know, relating to the, uh, sexual side of it. They seem to concentrate more on things they go and do together and things like that. Um, which is why these things are important because they understand 
um, the more the emphasis is not on um, looks or sexual appetite. It's it's actually about companionship and uh, being with somebody that's really important to them. Is having that mutual respect for each other. Um, and I'm not saying everybody has to. But, 